on the Climate Watch today. Imagine being able to drive your car without ever having to fill up or plug in. Well, as climate change intensifies, the race for a solar car has accelerated in recent years. Itai Had recently went on a little test drive of a car that proves that the future, that future is right around the corner. It's a new twist on traditional travel. No gas or plug required. All this car needs is a tank full of sunshine. This is the future. Called the Uptera. This two-seat, three-wheeled car looks more like a flying machine, especially when you open its doors. And wait until you see how you do it. There you go. Chris Anthony is Uptera's co-CEO. He says this car, priced at about $35,000, is all about efficiency. There's combustion vehicles, there's electric vehicles, but there's no vehicle that creates its own fuel throughout the day. The global solar vehicle market is just revving up from $450 million in 2024 to $2.5 billion in 2030. The Aptera is covered in solar panels, which according to the company can generate enough energy to drive up to 40 miles per day. For longer drives, it can be charged like a regular electric car. How fast does this car go? Uh, zero to 60 in about four seconds and the top speed's 110 miles an hour. We took it for a spin to see how it handles San Francisco's steep terrain. I have to say, it's doing a pretty decent job. But while these cars have plenty of fans, Steven Zof, a former transportation official and Stanford researcher, says they may not be for everyone. The trade-offs, very small, very lightweight, uh, limited car carrying capacity are going to be deal breakers for a lot of U.S. customers. And then, of course, there's the weather. What happens if you live in a place like San Francisco, known for its fog? Yeah, San Francisco's a, a great use case for the Abterra. In Southern California, we get about 11,000 miles of free driving a year. In San Francisco, Seattle, uh, New York, you get more like 8,500 miles a year. Solar cars steering people towards a brighter future, where the best way to move forward is to look up. Itai Had, CBS News, San Francisco.